I was looking through the wood in my closet, thinking of something to make, and I remembered that someone had suggested a pie server as one of my projects. Pie servers often dip down from the handle into the blade, and I don't have anything on hand that's quite thick enough to do that in one piece. So I'm making this one out of two thinner pieces of wood. I grabbed some walnut and maple and began scheming. I came up with a shape I liked for the blade, and I made a template, which I'll trace onto this piece of curly soft maple. This is the same board I used for a spatula video a couple months ago. Then I cut that out. I need the stability of straight sides for the next step, which is resawing it in half. This gives me a nice thin piece to work with. Now I can cut to the pencil line. I just work my way around with straight cuts to get the basic shape roughed out. The end where the slot will be is left oversized to ensure I'll have enough material to work with once the handle is attached. Then I saw the V-shaped slot where the handle will fit in. I want to have good, square cuts here. Once that's out, I'll use a chisel to start shaping the contours. There's not a ton of work to do, but I'm aiming for a profile that gets slightly thinner toward the tip of the blade, and all the edges have to be tapered and thinned a bit to allow the spatula to easily slide underneath the food. Now I can move on to the handle. On the walnut, I draw the outline. I include plenty of extra material on the end that will be joined to the blade. I want to have some room for refining the shape to match up with the slot I've already cut. I make a couple straight cuts, then the entire handle gets cut out from the board with a coping saw. From there, I'll start carving the handle towards its final shape. It doesn't follow a straight line along the board, so it's important to pay attention to the grain and be aware of what direction to work from to get a smooth, clean cut and prevent messy tear out. A couple times I accidentally split into the wood, but nothing disastrous. Then I can mark the pointed end and saw that out, cutting a little outside the line. Now I'll carefully begin fine-tuning the edges with a chisel until the two pieces fit. Any small imperfections will be filled in during the glue-up, so I don't want to risk going too far and removing too much material. Once the two parts fit as well as I can get them, it's time to fuse them together with some waterproof glue. I'm sure to use plenty of glue, and I cram some walnut dust into the seam to fill in any tiny gaps. After the glue is dry, I shave off the extra walnut and clean up the joint. I do a bit more carving to blend the blade and handle together into a single fluid form.
Then I use a Dremel to complete the shaping of the tight curves and give it an overall smoothing. I start sanding with 60 grit sandpaper and I go up to 600 to give it a satiny smooth finish. In between grits, I hit it with some water to raise the grain, then sand it back down. Finally, a healthy dose of food grade mineral oil to finish it all off. And this pie server is done. The contrast between the maple and walnut is just beautiful. And the figure of that maple is a real eye catcher. I like the way the joint turned out, and I'll definitely want to experiment with this kind of design in the future. All that's left to do is serve up some pie. Thanks for watching.